Hey y'all, it's Sunshine with Sunny Crochet, and I just got back from a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Husband and I took off, and we went to Bowie Trade Days, or Second Monday, whichever one you want to know those by, and got to spend an amazing weekend. Our hotel was beautiful, it had a kitchen, it had a jacuzzi tub, I could have lived there. Where I would have put y'all, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, I made some amazing finds, and I don't have everything with me. I only bought a couple of things, because I was, you know how I am. I'm a tightwad. But I got a ceramic knife. I thought I'd try it, because she had an amazing deal. I got a pretty big ceramic knife for 20 bucks. Um, she says that they don't get dull, and um, they're very good knife. So I was like, well, I'm going to try it and buy it and see what happens. So I'll keep you updated on that. Um... These little treasures right here. Okay, y'all know I'm a buttonaholic. And uh, I found these little treasures. I got a, I got a two for ten. And these are the vintage buttons from Dress It Up. And here's a cute little story. I don't know if it's true or not. It's on the back of this one. But it says these buttons were discovered in basements and sub-basements in the old garment center of New York City, Soho. So that's kind of cool if that story is true. I don't know if it's a story to sell these things or not, but I don't care. I found buttons. My favorite, and I bought this because, you see, I don't know if y'all can see this. There's a little pretzel button there, and then there's these little pink buttons. And with my sundress issue that I'm doing, um, those will come in really handy because I'm making lots of little sundresses for charity and for people that are ordering them. So, anyway, and then I'm going to show you this other little find I got. Um, like, the other stuff is not really that great. It's, you know, it, it's cool to me, but it's not camera worthy. Anyway, for $5, I picked up this little box of horrors. Horrors, not hoers. Horrors? I don't Anyway, y'all know I love creepy babies. Creepy babies and I love each other. Well, y'all been seeing that lamp made with a doll head? Guess who got a doll head? Put a lamp, light bulb in her, knock out her eyeballs, boom, I got a creepy baby light. Ugh, there's something sticky. How cute is that thing? So precious. Mwah. Just precious. And then I got this doll head. This one's a little on the creepy side. Oh, it's eyelids. And its hair's nasty. But that's okay. We're not washing that hair. And then I got another partial. This baby's been amputated. And I think, I think somebody has um, done some bits and bobs with her. You'll see what I'm talking about when you show her your face. Look at that face. Tell me somebody has not done something to this doll. There's no arms. There's little nubs for legs. Tell me that is not awesomeness. Okay. I don't know even want to know what happened to her, but I I love it. And then check this one out. It's only got a leg and a torso. Oh my. And it actually looks pregnant. I'm not quite sure what happened to this baby. But it's freaking awesome. Okay, where else we? Oh, and here's another one that I may try to make into a lamp. How freaky cool is that thing? And this is wood. This has got a wood base and like a cheesecloth right there. And then I've got this baby. This one is missing his little arms. But isn't he cute? And he's got something stuck to the back of him. Okay. And then I got this precious little one. Look at her. She's even got a little tiny, tiny bow in her head. This says it's um, Knickerbocker Plastic Company. Glendale, Cali. Cali? So I'm going to say California, maybe. But look how cute these things are. 
She loved me. And then what's left in the box might actually be the parts to the baby. Uh oh, we lost the babies. Woo! Okay, as thick as my thighs are, these ain't holding these babies up. Y'all don't ever need to see my thighs though. Let me let me set my babies over here so we're not losing them. But then I got baby parts. I got pieces of babies. And it might go to these babies I've got in here. Because that leg looks kind of like the other one. That leg looks like it's got a worm in it. I'm not real sure. But I got parts to babies. So. Like I said, that's just some of my, some of my finds this week. And uh, they had another big, giant bag of babies. Um that were pieces and parts and weird looking. I found a little baby and I wish I would have paid the twelve fifty for it, but I'm so cheap. I hate being cheap, but it was a little tiny Negro baby. And, and don't get offended by me using that word. Come on now. It was just a little Negro baby and its arms were connected to it with its strings. Like if you open, looked in its shoulder it had a little string attaching its body parts to it its body parts were like real arms and legs but it was attached with a little string instead of elastic like the new ones are and it had a little bitty uh, head and it had some burlap attached to it and I wish and I regret not buying that baby because it was just, I've never seen one like that. I have never, ever, ever seen one like that. And I wish I would have bought it. And I didn't. So that's going to haunt me for a while until I go back up there. Uh, the next one we're going to go to is Stanton Trade Days. And, uh, well, it's called Sorehead Trade Days in Stanton, Texas. So if you're wanting to come out June 11th through the 12th, there will be a one out there. And we're hoping to get to go out there. Uh, I just don't know because June 5th is a noodle tournament I got to do. Um, I, well, I'm hoping to get up there. It's going to be in Oklahoma. And then June 11th and 12th is uh, Sorehead Trade Day. So I'm hoping to get both of those. But I'm always looking out for, for naked babies, creepy babies. If you got baby parts that you're like, what do I do with this? Or you found creepy babies in your mom and dad, you know, grandma's house. I would love to have these babies at home. Um... I can give you a P.O. Box address, and you can send those babies to me. They will be lots of love. I was going to say I got babies. See, this is my other stash of babies. I don't have them on the shelf no more because uh, I needed that shelf. So, like, I got this doll head it's missing some stuff I got a doll head in plastic I got some part of a doll head something I got a doll with I'm not even sure what to say on that it's like something and then I had this baby that I'm super proud of and I'm scared it's eventually going to break but you see her and uh, she's all, you know, got the cheesecloth type britches and, sorry honey, I gotta, see she, she's broke a foot, but I'm hoping that somewhere in this stuff that I have a, um, I have her foot. Because see, I've noticed this on her leg, it says two, so I don't know if that's number two of two, or number two doll that they made I, I don't know but I have lots of babies and I have this baby head in the plastic so I have I have quite a bit of creepy babies that I absolutely love here's one not in a plastic but if you've gotten babies that you are too creeped out by I'll leave my P.O. box um, that was my phone. I'll leave the P.O. box down below and you can send me creepy babies. <laughs> and uh, No weird mail though. Come on. Y'all know what I'm talking about. My children watch this. Otherwise they go in details. Uh, so anyway, thank y'all for watching. And um, 
I'm gonna try to get video of the, the where the old theater was where I showed you those pictures. It is completely cleaned out now. I don't know how they're gonna keep people from going in the lot and picking through things or trying to dig down. Um, it is a big, big, giant crater because it used to be a movie theater, so it slants down, and there's like a, it's bottom out at the bottom. So I don't know how they're gonna keep people from going in there. If they're gonna try to fill it with dirt, I don't really know. I think we should get the opportunity to go in there and pick through treasures, um, and see if there's anything remaining. But um, supposedly that happened all over the weekend and they were able to save the sign. So as soon as I can go find where the sign is, I'll grab some pictures. Thank y'all for watching.